hi in this video we will see how we can download and install caliber software to create the ebook for amazon kindle or for our own purposes using that software we can also manage ebook also so let's see how we can do that at first we need to open a browser i'm using google chrome and then i'm going to access google.com once we are in the google home page in the search box we need to type caliber the software name and then hit enter key of our keyboard and here we will see this thing ebook management software this software is ebook management software you can create ebook you can manage your ebook everything you can do and it's free that is the main catch over here and this is supported by all versions of computer i mean all versions of uh, uh, operating system like mac mac os or windows or linux also so just click here to access this site and here on the home page you will find the download button and there is another option download so if you click here then it will show you all the download options available for windows mac os linux or portable one i'm using currently windows computer so i'm going to choose this option but if you are using mac version of operating system then you have to go there so let's click the windows version and here we'll find couple of links are there one of the top link is the download link download this software from here and this is a 64 bit version of software just click here and this software will be downloaded shortly and it is asking why do you want to save the file so i am choosing download location so it will be saved over there then save it and then very shortly it will be saved and if we click here we'll see that it is going to download very shortly and it is like uh, 164 gigab uh, megabyte of size and it's already downloaded so let's see how to install it so let's go to the download location so i'm going to open the download location of my computer uh, and in the downloads folder i'm seeing and uh, that software is there this software we just downloaded so to install it we just need to double click on top of it and then uh, it will give us this option so there is a checkbox so it must have to click this i accept the terms in the license agreement and then we have to click on the install button to start the installation so it will ask do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device yes we want so that's why we have to choose yes and then it will start uh, installing uh, the software and it will take like few a minute less than two minutes so far i saw so let's see and once it is finished then we are ready to use this application so once the installation is completed you will get this confirmation like completed the software uh, like installation something like that and if you want to open it there is a checkbox you can do this thing or later you can type here and you can type this thing and you can also access there so let's uh, open it now so i'm going to click finish so that is software the software will be loaded instantly initially it is asking uh, like uh, uh, welcome to the software like something like that and it's asking which location basically it will create everything so there is a library it is creating in this user account so right now this is my user account and if you want to choose some other location you can also change it so this location is fine so i'm going to click next and then it is asking like manufacturer we don't need to uh, think about this thing basically uh, we can click next uh, this thing and here is a demo video if you want to check like that our manual is there so just click finish and it will open the software and after opening the software it will show you like this way so using this software basically you can do everything you can manage all of your ebook you can create ebook using the software uh, from word to other file and also after creating those file you can also convert to other formatted uh, so that you can uh, uh, use those uh, like file for kindle publishing or some other platform or pdf to create pdfs so many things you can do that's it guys in this way we can easily install this software and after that we can use it based on our own need thank you guys for watching the video